Hey guys, what's up? Good morning, good morning. Shalom and blessings to my saints in Yahweh, Yeshua. Ladies and gentlemen, according to what you're seeing on the description of this video, you will know exactly what it means. Men like Dr. David Himes, Kadaki, Mark Benchkop, Humo, all of them that keep in shows and not addressing the real issue that Guyana has. And the real issue Guyana has is that the neo colonizers, aka the white man, are in charge of Guyana. How can you blame the PPP for what they're doing? I mean defending the PPP, you know, I hate the party because the party is the most vile, wicked, dirty, stinking party. PNCRA, up new AFC, is a semi-PPP party. But how can you blame the PPP, Mark Kedaki and all the rest of them? Who blaming the PPP for mismanagement when the PPP are only workers who are taking directions from manager, the neo colonizers, aka the white men? That makes sense. Make that make sense. They're making all them talk, show this in them circling around and beating around the bush. Be the bush! Don't beat around the bush. Beat the bush. You're making all the show, all them show you are making and you're just circling around the issues. The real issue is the white man, aka the neo colonizers, are in charge of Guyana since 1992 when Jagan bring them here. And if y'all know y'all history, the white man has divided and conquer. This is why both PNCR or APNU AFC, which are party, the way um, they name themselves, and PPP would never do nothing for Guyanese. Because the white man tell them they can't do what they're supposed to do for Guyanese. They can't. Plus, this is my personal belief. I believe all them is take pay from the white man. So the white man get dirt on them so they can't talk. They can't talk. Plus, Mark, Kadaki, um, David Reins, all of them, they want visa to go foreign. Visa they want to go foreign. This is the one. Shalom, shalom, sis. Visa, they want to go foreign, so they can't talk. They gotta zip them out. What this man here at the back and forth with Mark Bench Cup? And this one showing green. Dr. Aricano from Zimbabwe said, they say, the most dangerous black man is a colonized one. Whether you're educated or not. You know why she said, oh? Because a colonized black man will sell out his own children to please him as He will murder his own children and will please him as This is what he will do. Because the white man get them how he want them. Them is modern day old slaves. All of them. They can't address the white man. They can't address, now you tell me something. If you get a tree, and that tree get an issue, you going to deal with the branch them? Morning, morning, Shogrim. You going to deal with the branch them? You got to deal with the root. And the root cause of all the issues in Guyana is the white man them. Those demons.
But guess what? Because most Guyanese, y'all wicked. Y'all adopt the Western culture, the wicked man culture. And y'all using it and y'all abusing it. Who not sleep with who man? Who not bugger down? Who not watch? Y'all vile and nasty. Yeah, some stink people, boy. Yeah, it ain't easy. So yeah, we never ever talk up against this here. Is a few of us gonna speak out? Yeah, and Johnny still about for part. Now he's still about. And you say make a post on Facebook, man. But you, oh, you're on friend me. This is why you don't see them post no more. The neo colonizers is or are the issues, the issue in Guyana, the main issue in Guyana. The neo colonizers are the main issue in Guyana. No matter who you, Mark you bench cap, you make your name. Kadaki Amsterdam, I'm a call your name, Dr. David, I'm a call your name. And the rest of y'all, no matter what show y'all put on, as long as y'all address the real issue, which is the neo colonizers who, who are in charge of this country, eh? y'all ain't doing nothing. A motherfucker, hold on, all wrong, y'all doing something. Y'all wicked to because y'all misleading the people. Y'all know this thing because. Especially you, Dr. David Ains. Especially you. I could excuse Mark. No, I can't excuse Mark because you know why? Mark is an educated chap, so Mark no guy in hand. Kadak is an educated chap because you know guy in hand. That's all I hope. Y'all know guy in hand. But you know what y'all choose to do with your wicked self? Y'all misleading the people. Y'all misleading the people. Watch, I see a picture. With my pal, whatever his name, he posts up with pretty money, chan, all big smiles. You tell me that them that are, them that are against one another for we purpose, them is one against the citizens of Guyana. In the fastest growing economy in the whole world you get half the population to suffer and then these PPP butts and the PNCR junkies and butts go run or come out and talk oh we nothing can do nothing is getting paid we can do. We get them paid for do. For being a position. Be the opposition. Only push you it, push you it, push you it, push you And you get people like Mark propagating instead of propaganda. And, and David and propaganda. Kadaki propaganda. Nothing to deal with the issue. Just beating around the bush. Deal with the issue, the real issue. Y'all didn't want to have this conversation. Imagine. When I talk to Mark and tell, when I, I text and tell Mark, you deal with the colonizers, the neo colonizers who do what they got to do. You know what Mark do? He laugh. He can't deny it. But every saying being though, I got real issues. I um how I get out. What, a, what? a broken record, yes. My record is broken and stuck right there because as long as the issue is solved. Nothing I these clowns doing gonna matter. Nothing because I a bunch of clowns, educated clowns, dangerous. But yet still, yet still, a bunch of Guyanese because of the wickedness in them. I listen to y'all and follow you. Y'all sound nice, you know. 
Yeah, something like that, Karen. Yeah. Oh, the BB this. Uh, the BB that. Uh, the BB this, yeah. But y'all ain't talking how night and crew went to foreign and make deal with the new colonizers. Just in case they're going power. Because, let me tell you something. Between the current PNCR who's run by night and crew and the PPP, they are fighting to see who can kiss the white man but the best. The PPP they put on one chick, but the chick for the white man. And the PNCR, not no crew, they put on another but the chick for the white man. And them kissing the white man, but but the fight they will see who can kiss it the best. And when the white man turn and say, well, hey, what no, not no crew. You kiss the best. So you ain't get power now. And then a set of ignorant ass black man turn a hello. Oh, yeah, we get power now. Get power. I am slaves to the white man because you can't see. No for y'all. Yeah, you know what y'all like hello? Oh, let me pray. Let me pray. Y'all like hello pray because you're lazy if you take actions. There's one. Two, y'all like, y'all, 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 y'all know. Because a person in this country, eh, a person, Nigel Eliakim, that not for y'all is called Nigel London, they're in this country, here eh, for years now and preaching the gospel that the name of Jesus is that of the Antichrist. So, so y'all can't say y'all no, no. Even Daramlal, the accused rapist, confess about Yeshua. Daramlal, but when I when I dig it in me, I take him over the street. Why you feel he black me? Why you think Daramlal black me? Because I talk to you like you know, you know we do. He confess Yeshua. I all about Yeshua this and that because he know the truth. So even the accused rapist, and I don't want to use the word accused because. Me want to get into a legal issue. But me personal belief is that he raped the girl. He did do what the girl say he do. He did bug the girl and force the penis to shame out. No, no, sis, I can't address the real issues. They may want to address the real issues because all of them scared to lose their visa. They love the white man. Everything about the white man. Imagine, imagine, Dr. David, I you see you. You see you. You, but you is, I learned this from half of you show that over 200 of our ancestors here were chopped off and placed on spikes and then me hear a person talk about it. Along the East Coast corridor, 200 over in 1823, when they had the biggest slave rebellion ever in history, 9,000 to 12,000 of our ancestors fought for our freedom. And you tell me, David Hines, that you ain't get a girl on the belly of the guts to free your people. You want to save your own self? I remember David Granger. David Granger, remember me. When the white man squeezed you and said, hey, I'm going to kill you if you stay in power. I'm going to sanction this country. Run! And left all of we in it. Left we under the, 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 the criminals them. The dirty stinking people them. Yeah, they will grain you did. I remember he good. You don't forget he. Granger, before he turned president, I see you shake me hand. Evidence of my army face. Look there for you, I see. I see you shake me hand. Oh, yeah. As soon as he turned president, I can't even get contact with you no more. That ungrateful thing. They were there and Amarian people do with them do to E. Because just like we do to me and the rest of the guy needs to support them. That man, the people dig it back in you. 
and he's a dunce and he's a blasted selfish big man. I tell you what, before I start to do this like this morning, I tell myself I was gonna be calm and relax and try my best not to get angry. But I can't stay calm with like this body. You are misleading Guyanese. And because most Guyanese are so gullible and they're just looking up, they're looking up to somebody for tell them something. You are using the opportunity, buddy. You are sick. Sick. The most dangerous black man you can ever find in this world, buddy, is a colonized one because you know what you always do, you are skill, you are own. To please the white man. To please the white man. This we all do. You are sick. But tell a uh, uh, lesson. The youths them waking up. They're getting wise. Information is out there, and the youths them start get this information in the scene. What some of you black people doing to the youths? Them seeing it, them going this y'all plus I want to feel like a massacre y'all to them kill a youth. They must kill a youth because you see the same youth man where y'all misleading and y'all educating them and going to turn criminals. And they must come for y'all and they going to put bullets in you because y'all some y'all y'all building your own monsters. Me say so. Watch y'all building your monster. It's going to take a couple years happen. Wait happen. When it happen, I go, well, as long as me the A, I'm going to turn and talk and I'm going to say, good for y'all. I'm going to talk it. And all who want to say, oh, oh, this man is so cruel, yeah. Y'all going to know the history, gonna, and then I'm going to tell you the history of how these wicked men misleading black people. And misleading the older guy, you know, because the Indian people in between the mix too. Who just listen? But you are misleading everybody. Oh, yeah, this could be used the PPP. Who are just workers. Workers, when you want to address an issue, you don't talk to workers to address issues. You got to speak to the manager. What kind of backward list of white folk? Wait, hold on, hold on. All the intelligent you intelligent Mark Ben Shop. All the intelligent you intelligent Kadaki Amsterdam. All the intelligent you intelligent David Hines, Dr. David Hines. You mean for telling me that you don't know, IDs don't know? Yali's telling me that Yali's don't know that when you gotta address real issue, you gotta deal with management. Yeah, telling me though. That y'all is don't know, don't know, y'all know, but y'all damn wicked. Some demons. Misleading the people, them. Ah, y'all just blazing the PP, all about the PP, this is the PP, don't PP, though. When y'all know that the PP is not in charge, tell the truth. They do the, the they just what they do. I understand me, um, Nini. Oh, you and the person that I'm thinking. That, oh, 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 oh. Nah, nah, listen. Nini, they're not racist indeed, like the PP. But they're the semi PPP. The PNC are up, New AFC. Listen, y'all know the history. AFC was created by the CIA. Y'all know what's going on. Y'all don't play. Y'all know what's going on. The neo-colonizers are in charge. The neo-colonizers say what? Why, Olan? Y'all think Jack Dio, they want 
shame himself for run go and fight the court when the court are the exam to pay full coverage y'all think he the one do that? Yeah, at least honestly believe Jagdio the one take the risk you know how much Jagdio support them hate Jagdio for the stupidness we do you know how much of them but he had, he had no choice because he running show he in, in, in charge of squat the white man is the white man is We I see all them things going on around the place, you think to yourself, say, oh, you know what I feel? Every you tell yourself, oh, because the white man in charge, we can't know but we can't get big guns. Yeah. Imagine that, boy. Are you freaking for dead? Are you freaking for dead? The only thing a man is guaranteed in this life is to die. There is a must. How you feel you can get this freedom with the Because there's no freedom because lands in your colonizers are in charge and free. Them want to enslave the entire world. There's an aim and a mission. And in a sketch, the gullible, weak back leaders like Jagdio. Narton, Ali, Nandalal, and Narton, and the crew, the crew went there like, what's your name, this girl, eh? where I'm Jack Joe Kashi, when Jack Joe Kashi, low life, cut to use, and the rest of them went with Narton for complaint to the new colonizers. They must catch them leader, them weak back, jelly back, fit for nothing leaders, leaders, they're not leaders, they're leaders, or they're lead yeah, they're lead them waste people. Then they sketch them jelly back people up and pay them. Motivate them and tell them, hey, y'all do this and y'all do that. Plus, money talk. So, once they get the money, they can go into certain community and they can do certain things and influence certain beliefs and ways and attitudes. Because if a community is depressed, simple logic, if a community is depressed, and these neo colonizers, the white man, give a particular set of people money. Shalom, shalom, bro. Give a set of people money to go and help the community. The community will look at those people as saviors or good people because the neo colonizers get the money for spend. So they must use them influence for do what they got to do. And plus, them people live about years cunning people. So them know for can everybody. But when you see you have a blessing with insight and you could see certain things, you're gonna pick it up quick. The neo colonizers are in charge of guy, you know. Mark Bench Chop, Dr. David Rines. Kadaki am Saddam and the rest of you who they doing show as long as y'all don't address the root cause of the issue, y'all wasting y'all time more so. All y'all are wicked because y'all leading the people them down them death. Y'all leading them to death. This is what y'all doing because as long as y'all miseducating the youths, y'all destroying them. As long as you are miseducating the youths, all of you are destroying the youths. There is no future because you people, you are demons. Listen, I expect the PPP to operate how they operate because they are known demons. They may get you know, when it comes to wickedness, you hear this brother Brian Max. If Brian Max in him said Jack Dio videotape Ali being boggled by some anti man, and Nami says so, Brian Max says so. So you could imagine how vile a vile you could imagine how vile is one of vile them sick. I could understand though. 
But when people like Mark Benchop and Kadaki and Dr. David Ains adopt the same method of miseducating the people, y'all ain't no different from the PPP. Y'all ain't no different from the PPP. All of you, same thing. Are you wicked? But y'all will watch you know. Y'all will watch you. Y'all will watch you yeah, carefully, closely. Time longer than twine. And every rope gets an end. The youths them gonna deal with y'all. The youths will deal with y'all. Because the youths them are getting shine and more shine and more shine. So them are, they are aware of the schemes of the neocolonizers. They are aware of it. The youths are getting more shine. The time coming. Your time coming. Book it go well. One day, but I'm gonna drop out. One day, but I'm gonna drop out. <clears throat> yeah, continue. Remember, when you see y'all miseducate them, you they say, move out to the black communities and go and live between the new colonizers because them use on come for you. Them will come for y'all. Them will come for y'all. Them see you know. Let me wake up, even the, watch, listen, I see, I see a bad man, a murder man, do a TikTok video on Facebook. No, do a TikTok video and share it on Facebook. A known gangster in Guyana commit the most crime back in the days. But he's a, he's a lucky gangster because he never get jail. Get jail and come back. They work free. That man even know how to bull foot. When it comes to reason and writing, but the man start reason, the man start get shine, and the man start talk certain things. Now, if the man, I start open, and either when it comes to book and them kind of fancy thing, you know number do. What you feel telling the rest of them gangsters what they're wrong? Here? What you feel telling them rest of gangsters what they're wrong? Here? And you have feel to yourself, you want to continue fooling the youths. You think to yourself, you want to continue doing this to the youths them and think and get off? Yo, you get something coming for you. The youths them, where you are miseducating and destroying the mental health. Why you feel the youths them suffering from mental health because them seeing one thing and then you are misleading them and telling them something else. They seeing it. But right now is a transition period for them. The original thing will come at the original time. When you see start clap on y'all, I gonna come and say as long as I dip on earth. Because I know you don't like me. So you might say somebody will kill me, I don't even care. It's one time I could kill me. I can't kill me for all the time. One time I could kill me. So I don't care. Them you's gonna deal with you. And as long as me dip on earth, I gonna say good for you. And whoever want all about how me get the art, I'm cruel gonna explain to them how IDs used to miseducate the youths them and destroy them future. IDs, are you working? Anyway, people, I'm out.